Hey everybody, it's Chris. Wow, okay, so I've had a day <laughs> and I'm coming to you from uh, Washington State. I'm actually in the parking lot of a Panera. Um, and this is just how we get to roll as entrepreneurs. So um, yeah, we're here for day five. Um, we're gonna talk about step six, which is all about empower. And I'm so darn excited to actually share this with you. This is gonna be so fun. Hey Kim. Um, and this is perfect, you know. Um, so here, here's the story. I'm actually in a rental car. I'm in in a parking lot of Panera. Thank you, Wendy. It's, it's traffic in Seattle is crazy. So um, we ended up um, taking a long time in the airport and then a long time in traffic. And so we're not even where we need to be. We're actually driving from Seattle to Olympia today. And um, yet, yeah, I am 100% committed to showing up here for you guys and um, and delivering this for you. So rather than canceling it, my husband's taking a picture of me from outside the car. Is this not funny? Um, <laughs> I'm showing up. And here's the thing, we get to do this. Like We get to build resilience as an entrepreneur and it's just the way things go. And so we get to surrender, we get to flow with it. It's all good and I'm just really glad to be here with you. Hey Andy, so I just get to have fun with you guys. So we're on day five, and um, before we, uh, before I teach what I want to teach to you guys tonight, I want to do a really uh, quick recap, and then I also want to share with you that tomorrow is going to go a little bit different. So since I'm out here on the Pacific Coast, so beautiful out here, um, I'm going to go live at, let's see, so it will be 10 o'clock Eastern time, so it's 11, 12, 1 o'clock. Pacific time, 10 o'clock Eastern time. And instead of going live, I'm actually gonna post a link to uh, a Zoom room so you all can meet me. I'll be in the hotel, we'll be able to hang out, chat. This is gonna be a great call. It's gonna be an opportunity for you to ask me questions. This is a bonus call for those of you that kind of want my eyes and my ears on any questions that you have. You can ask me any questions about Activate Abundance, anything about the six steps that I'm teaching you. Um, and so this is just a bonus call for all of you. And I would love to serve you in that way. So 10 a.m. Pacific time, uh, 1 o'clock Eastern time. I had to do that math real quick in my head. And, um, and then I will be posting the Zoom link here. Um, and we'll also get uh, an email out to everybody as well so you can join me there. Awesome. So Andy's here and Wendy's here and Kim's here. And so if you're hopping on live, I know it's a Friday. Thank you for giving me a little bit of your time tonight. You're gonna to be really, really glad that you um, hung around and that you stayed for day five because I've got some really great things to talk to you about, about empowerment. So here's the thing about empowerment. We are not victims of our circumstance. We get to choose as an empowered woman, as an empowered leader, as an empowered human being, what we make things mean. And it's quite interesting that all of this kind of went the way that it did, how it went sideways today, because it actually gave me an opportunity for you to model what we get to do as an entrepreneur and how we get to make things mean whatever it is that we want to mean. Um, by the way, they lost my husband's bag, so he doesn't have a bag, so he's actually running over to Target to get some, um, get some stuff that he needs for tonight until the airport can actually deliver his bag. And you know what? It's life, right? It happens. And we can either get crazy about it or we can really lean in, surrender, trust that everything is working out for the highest good, and we just roll with it. And that really is the way that we get to be resilient. This is the way that we build successful practices is that we see that everything is happening for us and we pivot and we course correct as needed. And so we just do that. And I'm pivoting and I'm course correcting today by doing this live for you in the car. So if you're here uh, live, uh, as always, type in hashtag live, please, in the comments. If you're watching the replay, uh, type in hashtag replay. And here we go. We're going to talk all about the Soulful Abundance System, Step 6, which is about empowerment. And uh, this is really funny because Step 1 is successful entrepreneurs pivot and course correct. Successful entrepreneurs pivot and course correct. Um, wow, right? Like synchronicity. The universe is crazy, right? So we get to pivot. We get to course correct. Hey, Jennifer. So glad that you're here. And we want to think about 
at who you are empowering, right? So as coaches, as holistic practitioners, as wellness entrepreneurs, we are empowering our clients to say yes to their transformation. We're saying we are empowering our clients to say yes, not to us. They're not saying yes to us. They're not saying yes to my 90 day transformation program or your 90 day transformation program or you're not even saying yes. If you decide to join me inside of Activate Abundance, you're not saying yes to a six month program. What you're saying yes to is a solution. What you're saying yes to is your results. What you're saying yes to is making a commitment to yourself going all in so that you can have a solution, which is how do you build a thriving wellness practice in a really heart-centered way that allows you to be a stand for your clients, that allows you to have a service first way of being in the world so that you can serve people, you can nurture people, and you can guide people along that client pathway instead of having to try to drag somebody across the finish line or instead of trying to convince or persuade somebody, or instead of trying to be really salesy, right? So there's another way to do it, and there's a really fun way to do it. And what I'm modeling for you here is called a nurture event, and it is a way that we get to teach in our zone of genius, we get to share, we get to serve, we get to nurture, we get to help people, and we also get to invite them to work with us. So. We want to remember that whatever we're doing, we are coming from a place of empowering others. We're empowering our clients to say yes to having the results that they want. And being empowered is also, and I didn't even write down the, the answers to this, you guys. So being empowered is to stay in the game, um, committed, and in community consistently over the long term. So. Here's what we do as entrepreneurs. We're playing two kind of, actually we're playing three kind of games. We're playing the mindset game. How do we stay in the game even when things go sideways? Even when things don't turn out the way that we think that we should? That's one game that we get to play and that's the inner game. And that's probably 80% of your success. How do you stay in the game? How do you stay in the abundant mindset? How do you keep moving forward? How do you keep creating momentum even when things might look like they're not working out the way that they should? Then we also have the strategy piece, which is the outer game. And in the strategy piece, we're actually kind of playing two games. We're playing the short game, which is how are we bringing cash in to our business? And we're playing the long game, which is how are we growing and building and developing our business over the long term? And that's really important. Those are things that we want to, you know, always keep an eye on. It's never just about what is it do I have to do right today? It's about understanding that we've got foundations, we've got simple systems that we get to put on repeat, and that allows us to play the long game. That allows us to be resilient. That allows us to build thriving wellness practices that we are actually in love with and serve people that we love to work with. So the next part is successful entrepreneurs invest in themselves, they invest in their business, and they invest in their community. Um, because they need, we all need support, we need accountability, and we need a system. Really important. Successful entrepreneurs are always up leveling in multiple ways, up leveling. Um, I don't know one entrepreneur out there that's successful that is at the six figure mark or the multi six figure mark or higher that does not have support. And they have support in multiple ways. As a matter of fact, some of my mastermind sisters are in multiple masterminds. Um, they're not just in one. And as a coach, as an entrepreneur, you want to make sure that you're learning from people that are further down the freeway than you are, people that you resonate with, people whose uh, system or process you want to learn as well and you really do want to work with somebody. So regardless of whether you decide to join me inside of Activate Abundance or not, work with a coach. Every business invests in some sort of business support. Their CEOs and businesses, no matter what type of business you have, they have support. They have a chief financial officer, they have an executive officer, they have a marketing officer, like every single business has support. We're not meant to do this on your own. We're not meant to do this on our own. You're not meant to do it on your own. I'm not meant to do it on my own. And when I tried to do it on my own, I can tell you 
that it took a lot longer than when I finally allowed myself to have the support that I needed to collapse the timeline so that I knew what to do, when to do it, how to do it, in a way that felt really good and aligned for me that actually brought on paying clients, allowed me to build a thriving and a multiple six-figure business. Hey Donna, so glad you're here. Sorry guys, my, my arm is getting a little tired so it's getting shaky, so I'm just gonna switch hands. So again, we need support, we need accountability, and the accountability comes in multiple ways. Accountability comes in personal accountability, and we're gonna talk about that in some of these empowering leadership paradigms, where we take ownership 100% for our results, and we have support and we allow ourselves to be supported in ways to help us learn the things that we need to learn to help us implement the pieces that we want to implement. Accountability also comes in community and that's why I'm always, always, always invested in community. Not only do I have a mindset coach, I also have a financial coach, I have a strategy coach and I'm in a mastermind. And all of those things provide support in ways that I absolutely need and community is amazing. As a matter of fact, I was able to uh, chat with my mastermind sisters today in our boxer group and um, they were just like uh, cheering me on with figuring out okay guys I am in a nurture event and I've got to show up and so this is just how we get to do it we just get to roll this way um, so leaders allow themselves to be supported so that is the next fill in the blank is leaders allow themselves to be supported leaders don't think that they need to figure it out on their own um, that is actually probably the biggest mistake that I see is let me piece it together let me just figure it out leaders actually allow themselves to be supported and they know when they need the support and they reach out for support as well so that's another thing and I'm always reaching out to support with my coach or my mastermind sisters and I'm like hey I have a question what do you do in this situation or hey I need support with this and we get to be supported. That's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. That's not a sign of weakness. That's actually a sign of empowerment and strength that you're taking responsibility for you and your business to get the support that you need, to get the answers to the questions that you want. So I hope you'll show up tomorrow with me for the bonus Q&A because you can bring any question that you want. So the other thing that leaders do is leaders take inspired action. Leaders do not wait until all the stars align. Leaders do not wait until everything is perfect before they take action. Um, and you know, this piece of perfection that we have to know exactly what to do before we can actually take action is, is a myth. Really, you are learning as you go. You're learning as you go. You're taking a step, even if it feels wonky, even if it feels, even if it feels shaky, you're allowing yourself to be supported, you're doing the thing, you're starting the Facebook group, you're sending the message, you're reaching out, you're doing those things and then you're getting feedback and you continue to go. So this idea that somehow we have to have it all figured out is just not so. We absolutely need to take inspired action and we need to take inspired action and get the feedback and then take the next step and get the feedback and take the next step and get the feedback. And that is how you allow yourself to have the how open in the process. And that's how I actually created my business as well. When I first created my massage therapy business, I had no idea how to open a massage therapy business. I just graduated from school. All I knew was that I didn't wanna work for Massage Envy or another spa. I wanted to make my own hours so that I could be home for my kids. And I just asked and I said, okay, what do I need to do next if I want to work on my own? And so I asked, I reached out for support. I asked people that had a massage therapy business and they said, well, you could rent a room. And I'm like, great, who has a room for rent? And I asked around and I found a wellness um, place that had a room to rent. And so now I got to be a part of a community of other wellness entrepreneurs that were building and growing their business too while I was able to rent a room and start my own massage therapy business. But I had no idea from A to Z that that was gonna happen. I just took the next step. And that is the truth of how building a successful business goes, right? If this is making sense to you guys, type in yes down in the comments. Let me know if this is landing with you, right? It's not like we have this plan for how where you're gonna go from now until you know five years from now we take a step and then we take another step and we get the feedback and we take another step Kim's like yes Andy's yes absolutely this is how we do it this is how it goes 
Yeah, and that should actually feel like a relief to you that you don't need to have all of the same things figured out first because uh, it allows you to have freedom. It allows you to have flexibility. It allows you to build resilience. It allows you to do things that you, uh, and lean into things that you didn't even realize that you were capable of doing. And that's actually a really good thing. The way will show up. First step, next step. Absolutely, Valerie, if I could double click on that, I would. I'm double clicking on it with my energy though. All right. Let's dive into the 12 empowered leader paradigms before we finish up today. While well, my husband is actually in Target trying to get stuff since his bag was lost. He doesn't have his clothes or anything. Um, and I want to share a little bit about paradigms. Paradigms are more than just like these great fancy sayings. Paradigms are more than just a thought. They're more than just a belief. They're a way of being. And when you embrace these 12 empowered leadership par paradigms, you show up in the world very, very differently. And you're able to create things and do things and be things out in the world that are you probably didn't even think possible. And so I wanna go through some of these empowering leadership paradigms because they really made a difference in how I built and grew my business. And the first one, and this is one of my favorites, is that I am 100% responsible 100% of the time without guilt and without blame. What does that mean? That means that just that I am 100% responsible, me. I don't have to guilt myself into doing something. I don't have to blame somebody else for circumstances. I get to choose, I'm responsible. And the truth is, is that circumstances are circumstances. We don't actually control circumstances, but we're 100% responsible for the meaning that we make our circumstances mean, right? So we're 100% responsible also for our results that we create in our business. We get to show up, we get to take the next step, we get to take the action. And if we don't, we get to course correct and we get to pivot. There's no room for guilt. And we also, there's no room for blame either. If there's a circumstance that's happening, we get to choose how we're gonna maneuver around that versus letting the circumstance have power over us. So if you really wanna, let me see if I can switch this over here a little bit. So if we really want to be in this empowered place where we feel amazing and we're making choices that are aligned with who we are and who we wanna be, we take 100% responsible for the thoughts that we think, the meaning that we're making about it because that creates our feelings and our feelings then allow us to either take action or inaction or we tend to react to it. So that's number one. Number two, sacred self-care is the foundation of a sustainable practice. I cannot stress this enough. I know that the you know, self-care term can be overused, but you being involved in high vibe activities so that you have an elevated state of being, so that you feel good, sacred self-care is the key to sustainability. If you don't take care of yourself, then you will be burning yourself out quicker than quick. So this is a foundation and this is a foundational piece that I work on with every single one of my clients. As a matter of fact, one of my most often used questions that I ask my clients is what energy are you in? What energy are you in? Right? If we're doing a nurture event, if we're inviting a client to work with us, what energy are we in? And if we're in a low vibe energy, if we're in fear, if we're in doubt, if we're in scarcity, we have to shift that. That means that something is off. And so we get to dive into our sacred self-care. We get to dive into making sure that we are fully sourced, that we're sleeping well, that we're doing things that give us amazing feelings because that feeling state is what is attracting our clients to us versus having to run after and chase somebody. Leaders source their experiences. This is another good one. We get to source our experiences. If something's not going the way that we want it to go, we get to choose how we're going to uh, work around that. There's always a workaround. Just know that, that there is always a different possibility. And sometimes we have to think outside of the box. Sometimes we might need to sit with it for a little bit to try to figure out how we can make it happen in a way that we want to make it happen. But we are always sourcing our experience and we're sourcing our experience based on our thoughts, the meaning that we make about the circumstances and the way that we're feeling, right? So again, my husband is actually really doing quite amazing on this trip, given that um, we got up at 5 a.m. this morning and then 
the bag was lost and then the line to the rental car was took us about an hour to get through that and then we got stuck in Seattle traffic for a couple hours and now he's got to go shopping in Target and you know what we get to source the experience and so I've chosen to source a different experience instead of frustration I don't want to bring frustration into this I want to show up and and show you that whatever circumstances out there doesn't have to change how you feel about things. It doesn't mean you have to go into self-doubt at all. The next one is leaders choose abundance even when others choose scarcity. Leaders choose abundance even when others choose scarcity. And Valerie says radical responsibility. Amen, sister. We get to take radical responsibility. So we get to choose abundance. There might be other people that are in scarcity. There might be other people that feel like they're a victim to a circumstance. And that's okay. They can be there. But we get to choose something different. Empowered leaders choose something different. Empowered leaders show up in the world from a place of abundance rather than scarcity. We get to show up knowing that things are always working for us. Always. Um, the next one is my most dominant thoughts create my results. Therefore, I take daily action to align to what I most desire to receive. Wow, right? This gets back into the thought model. Our thoughts, my most dominant thoughts, what I put on repeat 51% of the time is actually what is going to create my results. So if I don't have a result that I want in my life right now, I get to chase that back to an energy, to a thought. What is the thought that I'm thinking? What is the most dominant thought that I've been putting on repeat? And what we have right now in our life is actually based from previous thoughts, previous dominant thoughts, right? So we get to see that our thoughts, again, create feelings. Feelings create actions, inactions, or reactions. So if we don't have what it is that we want right now, we get to realize that that's an indicator of where is our most dominant thought. Leaders allow themselves to take risks and course correct. You know, we all, as humans and as uh, women who are building businesses, we do need to take risks, right? There is not, there's no guarantee that um, of anything, and so just going into entrepreneurship on its own is a risk. But I think that it's a pretty amazing risk because you get to create so much more possibility and so much more impact than having to be told by somebody else what to do, when to do, how to do it right so we're taking a risk every day we're creating every day we're creating with our thoughts every day every day is a risk so you now you get to choose what type of risk you want to take do you want to choose a risk that is going to help you go into further possibility and a way that is going to be impactful and supportive and I always choose yes on that um, and I always try to say yes because I know that the next level breakthrough for me and the opportunity and the success is on the other side of yes. I want to say that again. The opportunity, the abundance, the success will always be on the other side of yes. It always has worked out that way for me. And also other amazing six-figure uh, coaches and seven-figure coaches as well. Leaders commit before they know how. Yep. We commit before we know how. We say, yes, I'm going to build the business. I'm committing before I know how. We let the live open up in the process. Hey, Tanya, so glad you're here. Leaders commit before they know how. We say, yes, this is what I want to create, and then we allow the how to open up as we go. It doesn't happen the other way. It just doesn't. You know, think about it. You can't create anything from nothing, right? We get to commit first. Um, or actually, I, I said that backwards. Everything that is created actually starts from nothing, right? Like we didn't know how to ride a bike when we first did it. We had to commit. We had to get on the bike. We had to start pedaling the pedals. We had to fall down. We had to let it be shaky and wobbly. But we committed. We had to commit to get on the bike, right? Nobody said, you know what, Chris, this is how you ride the bike and here's a video of it. Let me read you a book about it. I had to actually get my butt on the bike and learn how to ride it. And that's the same for building a business. We have to commit first and then take the steps. Hey, Tracy, I'm so glad you're here with us. So these are really amazing. Um, leaders do what they need to do with integrity and authenticity. Leaders do what they need to do with integrity and authenticity. And that's one that I hold true. That's one of my values that I get to show up and be authentic just like I am now. This is what's going on. Like I'm not at the hotel. I'm in a parking lot in Panera, but I committed 
to show up and it is within my own integrity that I honor my word and I show up and do what needs to be done. So leaders commit and do what they need to do. And you live in with authenticity. It's okay. Sometimes we just need to show people that things go sideways because it's true. Not everything goes perfect in business. And the truth is, is that you're all powerful and you can manage whatever happens. Um, leaders make powerful, decisive choices. I can't stress this one enough. Um, I see a lot of coaches getting stuck because they're not making a powerful, decisive choice. Even to the point of like, you know what, not picking a, a something specific, like not picking a name for an event, or not picking a date, or not picking a Facebook name. Like we just get to make a choice. Make a decisive choice. The more decisions that you make in your business, the more successful you will be, I promise that. Because business is about making decisions and then implementing on that decision. And the more decisions you make, the more you stay out of overwhelm. Because if you're not making any decisions, you're sitting on the fence. You're not going forward, you're not going backwards, you're not going to the right, you're not going to the left. You are stuck, you're standing still, you're not making any momentum, you're not getting any feedback. So leaders, and really what I teach to my clients is make powerful, decisive choices, don't overthink it, and know that you can always pivot and course correct as needed. But make those decisions. Pick the Facebook name, pick the date for your next nurture event. Pick a name for uh, your program. It doesn't have to take weeks. You don't have to have the pretty anything in order to get, you don't have to wait until you have a website. You don't. You don't have to wait until you have amazing branding photos. You don't have to wait until you have a beautiful logo. As a matter of fact, one of my coaches and mentors is in the seven figures and she still doesn't have a website today. So you don't need all that. What you want to do is take, make powerful, decisive choices and then get feedback on it so that you can know where to go next. That's what leads you. Those decisions are gonna lead you on what step to take next. This next one is one of my favorites. There is no failure. There's only feedback and learning. If we could all see the world as always working for us, could you imagine how our business and our lives would change? If there was no failure, if we couldn't fail, no matter what we did, that we were always either winning or learning. And that really is an amazing paradigm to see the world that you are always winning or learning, but there is no failure. Because if you're showing up in this game of life and you're taking the next step as an entrepreneur and you're working towards building and growing your business, you're winning. You're absolutely winning. Um, the next one, leaders trust themselves and take inspired action. And look, we are always leaning into self-trust. Nobody is 100% perfectly confident in everything. And you don't have to be, but you do have to take inspired action. You have to make a decisive choice. You have to trust yourself that you are capable. You have to trust yourself that you will figure it, that out. And every time we do something that feels a little wonky and feels a little scary, allows us to tap into a new level of self-trust and confidence. That's how confidence and self-trust is built. It's built by the things that challenge us. It's built by the things that feel wonky and a little bit scary. It's not built if everything goes easy and perfect all of the time. We wouldn't have a place to lean into. We wouldn't be building and developing our confidence if we didn't have to move through something. So I'm not saying that it has to be a struggle either. I'm saying that it gets to be something that we see is working for us so that we can get to another layer of trust and confidence within ourselves and within our business. And then the last one is leaders are impact driven and give generously. Leaders are impact driven and give generously. And really that is the community that I build here. I am impact driven. My passion and my purpose is to help you build and grow a thriving wellness business that's impactful so that you can make an impact in the world, so that I can help you make an impact and get clients, um, attract clients to you, serve clients so that you are helping them and it's making our, our world a better place. And we do that with a experience of generosity. We are giving our best stuff. We're serving, we're sharing, we are showing up and we are doing that with generosity because generosity breeds generosity. It creates win-win-wins for everybody. I am a huge game player of generosity and I really believe in that. That is actually one of my values as well, is to be generous. 
to be generous with my time, to be generous with my information, to be generous with my money. As a matter of fact, I am going to be uh, drawing the winner from anybody who has filled out their abundance bingo board and snapshot their bingo to me and messenger. I'm going to be drawing one client. They're going to get $100 cash because I believe in being generous. And I hope that you will also be generous with your clients um, and, and with your people and with your community. So just know that when you join me inside of Activate Abundance, you will get far more than what I promise. I guarantee that. Ask anybody who's been in any of my programs. I, my intention is to be generous. So I promise uh, you know, certain things that I'm gonna deliver in my program and then I absolutely over deliver it. So Kim, you need to have those to me by tonight um, and I will draw the winner tomorrow because that means that everything should be filled out. I think uh, everything on there was just until um, until this evening. All of the squares would take you through this evening. Yeah, yeah, so fill it out. Download your Abundance Bingo Board. It's inside the Facebook group. You can fill that out and, um, and then snapshot a picture of your bingo to me. You can send it to me on Facebook. Yep, and then I will be announcing the winner of the $100 cash prize tomorrow. Again, I'm for those of you that are joining me late, um, I'm going to be going um, live inside of Zoom. I will stream it into the Facebook group, but I'm going to be posting a Zoom link for you to join me tomorrow for a bonus call. And it is a bonus Q&A call, and you can join me there. Ask me anything. We can actually even start building out some business models together and if you, if you want to, if, if that's one of your questions. And you can ask me any question about Activate Abundance. You can ask me any question about the six steps. So, you know, we talked a lot over the course of these past five days. And I want you to know that we go in depth in this over a period of six months. So it's not just, okay, I'm just gonna give you a ton of information and then let you be on your own. You're going to have my eyes, my ears, my heart on all of your stuff, on your business. You're gonna have associate coaches in there and success coaches that are cheering you on, that are supporting you. You're gonna have access to me for three live group calls every single week. And one of the things that I do inside of Activate Abundance and all of my programs is we take the last week off for integration. So the first three weeks we meet together, the last week we're off for integration. What that allows you to do is to create some spaciousness in your life and in your business so that you can catch up on anything that you wanna catch up on instead of feeling like you've got to be on balls out for the whole six months. Jennifer says, where are we searching or sending the bingo cards? You want to take a screenshot and send it to me here in Facebook, or you can email it to me. Either way is fine. Probably the easiest would be just to send it to me via, um, via Facebook. Okay, my necklace is doing a funny thing here. Okay, all right, ladies. So we talked a lot about the six steps. Alignment was number one. Alignment to our sense of value and our worthiness. Aligning to our ideal client. Alignment to how we're showing up and being in the world. Alignment to a business that feels really good and spacious. We also talked about design, which is the second step, which is designing our programs, our pricing, our offers, our 90-day nurture plans, making sure that we have a 90-day self-care plan on tap because that is the way to build a sustainable and a profitable business. We also talked about building a 90-day uh, nurture plan, profit plan, profit plans. So that was the third one. How are we going to get to where it is that we want to go? These are simple systems that we get to put on repeat, and then we get to take a look at those every single day. So these 90-day plans are really, really powerful. Then we talked about attraction. We talked about attraction, nurturing, and inviting, which is the nurture marketing method in sales. And that is a method that I teach you to put on repeat. How are you attracting the right client to you? How are you nurturing them along the pathway? And then how are you helping your clients up the ladder of belief so that you can invite them to work with you in a way that feels really good instead of feeling icky and salesy and slimy? That is the nurture method. And then the last step was all about empowerment. How are you showing up in the world? Are you embracing these empowered uh, leadership paradigms so that you can be a stand for your client and not fall, um, not get pulled into whatever circumstances or stories your clients have. You get to be a stand for what her transformation is. 
All right, my friends, um, what I would love for you to do, this is the action step for day five. Out of all of these 12 empowered leader paradigms, I want you to pick one that most resonates with you and post that in the Facebook group. Kim says her biggest takeaway is to not let my circumstances lead the way. Absolutely, you are so much more powerful than your circumstances, I promise. And I hope that I've been able to model some of that for you this week, share some of the stories on that have helped me you know, go from a stay-at-home mom with no money to having a thriving, high multiple six-figure practice and being able to pivot and course correct as needed. You can do this too. Honestly, I don't have fairy, fairy blood. This is something that everybody can do. I would love to support you. I would love to teach you how, and I would love to have you join me inside of Activate Abundance. So don't forget the discount goes away Sunday at midnight. So in order to get that $1,000 discount, in order to get the bonuses, which are creating one to 5K in your first 30 days, along with how to add 100 leads within your first 30 days to your list, you need to sign up by Sunday or book a call with me, let me know, send me a message in Facebook Messenger and say, Chris, I wanna book a call with you. And if you do that before Sunday, then those bonuses and that special offer would still be there for you. All right, ladies, Andy says, watching you presenting was the biggest gift for me. Aw, you're so welcome. I have the best clients ever. All right, loves, have a great evening and we're gonna get back on the road and uh, my husband just got back. You probably heard the ding, ding, ding. So he's got some stuff to, so we can brush his teeth and do all the things tonight when we get to our hotel. Have a great night.